and you don't have to cross your leg. If cross legged is not for you today, don't cross your leg. Just sit any way you like. You can straight your legs. You can just have one leg closed. Whatever feels good for you, okay? You know your body more than anybody else. So let's roll the shoulder back and make sure you just go side to side. Just, just making sure we're adjusting the hair because sometimes we kind of sit on one side more than the other side. And once we find that we're actually centering the spine, let's stop moving and just sit comfortably. Take the hands, palm facing up, and roll the shoulder back. Lengthen the spine and feel there's a space between your shoulders and your ears. Now you can close your eyes if you wish to relax more and take a moment and observe how your body is feeling. We're going to focus first on the relaxing part in your body. Is your face, jaw, the tip of your nose relaxed? Are the shoulders relaxed? Arms, fingers? And the space behind your ears? The space between your ears and your shoulders? Your chest? Are you feeling that expansion the breath and the contraction of your chest? Is it in a relaxing way? Can you feel the breath is free in and out? Is it relaxing your face with that breath? Do you feel your rib cage expanding and contracting, bringing more stillness, more grounding? Do you feel the back of your spine? Spine? If it's relaxed or tense, just notice that. No judging. Is between your shoulder blade and the middle of your spine and lower resting. The right hip, the left hip, are they both relaxed? Your thighs, knees, toes, ankles. Just notice, no judging. Notice where is the beautiful, positive energy you're holding in your body. Surround your head, ears, neck. It's the energy around your arms, palms. Take a moment and see where is the tight spot in your body right now and see if you can zoom into that spot and bring us some comfort by just breathing through that spot there. And we do four more breaths. A nice, normal, simple breathing in and out the nostrils to relax a little bit more. Feeling rest, feeling peaceful. And now we turn the palm facing down 
tower our thighs. We roll the shoulder back and we make sure we're comfortable in our seated. If not, you can always adjust. We're gonna take the right ear to the right shoulder and left to the left shoulder. And we're gonna move very slow as we try to bring some beautiful feeling, nice opening to the neck. Rather than stretching, we wanna feel the energy and the vibration around the neck. You're relaxing the jaw, the tongue, and you're trying to bring that feeling good, feeling good around your neck, the jaw, whatever that feels usually tight, you want to open it up, you want to relax it softly, gently, and you want to enjoy this moment right now. And you're doing six more each side. And every time you want to feel it even more by breathing deeper and exhaling longer. Four more. Two. And last one. Come back center when we're done. Just relax, pause for a moment. See if you feel a little sensation, vibration around your neck. Maybe you feel more grounded. Maybe you feel more relaxed. Relax completely. We're gonna turn the head all the way to the right corner, right side of our shoulder. We're taking a tour. And we come back all the way center very slow and take the head all the way to the other side and we're doing eight we're doing it with long breath and we want to see how this simple movement feels so good for our spine back even for your waistline just notice that breathing Slowly, smoothly. You got five more to go. Take a nice two. Four more. Three. Last two. The last one. As you come back to center, take your left hand, place on your right thigh, opposite arm to the opposite leg. Take your right arm to the side, and give your body a nice turn and twist looking over your right shoulder. And we hold this five long breaths, looking over your right side. Come back, all the way center. Pause, take a breath, deep inhalation, and go the other side. Two more in here. Come back. Should feel really nice squeezing on that waistline, massage on your organ, your liver, your stomach. So we're gonna release the right leg and release the left leg. And we flex the feet and we're going to lift the arms up, inhale and bow to the leg, exhale. 
So the focus is on your back of your body, not the arms, not the neck. So the upper body is really relaxed. What you want to do, you want to keep your legs active, strong, straight. And the toes are facing the ceiling, their feet flexed. And you want to really feel that stretch in your hamstring. What happens when you sit on a chair, they become short, okay? Your glutes become short, your hamstring become short, become tight. So we want to give them that nice expansion, that nice stretch. So you got eight more to go. Inhale, exhale, hold. And just feel that big circle with your arms. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just you have to listen to your body. And everyone is different. You might go a few inches down and you can feel it. Some people might go all the way down and they're not feeling it. It doesn't matter. We're here to work with our own body sensation. And we're going to relax and feel good. That's what we want. We want to feel good. Four more. As far as you're feeling that opening, that all accounts. Three more. Here. Inhale, exhale. Last two. Last one, you're going to come down, you're going to drop the head in very relaxed way. You're going to drop the shoulders. You're not controlling your neck or your shoulders, but you want to feel that stretch at the back of your legs. You want to dangle the head down, let it dangle head down, don't control the head, and let the leg stretch, let the back of the leg stretch. Four more in here. Now, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, all the way to the side. I hope you felt that beautiful opening at the back of your leg. Open your leg wide. And we're going to flex our feet. Again, if you have the cushion under your hip, just make sure you're sitting on the edge. So really the edge of it. You're not sitting on center of the cushion. Just a tiny bit lift. It lifts the pelvic floor. This give you a little bit more space to go. And remember, you're working to open the back and the inner thigh. We're not about to go all the way down to stress the spine, okay? So let's work on these nice legs. Inhale, arms up, stretch the entire body. Exhale, bow to your floor. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, bow down to the Mother Earth. And keep going, you got 10 more to go. Keep your toes facing up, keep your knees facing up. Everything is strong leg, and you're feeling that beautiful opening as you're going back and front. You got eight more to go. Breathe. Nice long breath, long breath. Don't be shy, breathe deep. Exhale long, four more to go. You should really feel it, you feel that beautiful opening. Two more. And last one, stay down. Again, you can have your arms straight if you're too high up there, or you can drop your arms down. Again, focus on the back of your legs opening. Don't worry about how low you can come today down. You can stay up if you like. The fact that I can feel the opening, that's good enough. Stay there. If you need to go more, you can just take a moment and go slightly more, but don't force the body. The back should not be stressed at all. Keep breathing. Four more in here.
last inhale and come back awesome all the way up and we're gonna bring the right leg center bend the knee bring your left bend the knee we're gonna walk the leg tower the chest we're gonna hold with our forearms really tight we lengthen the spine we're gonna take the head all the way up looking at the ceiling and bring chin to the chest in doing four more three two one and we take the head all the way to the right shoulder and then all the way to the left shoulder and you're doing four more breathe three more two one beautiful we're gonna come now and we're gonna do a little bit of sun salutation but the easy one to warm up the body so you take your cushion away you don't need to and I'm gonna place these blocks here so you can see me and we're gonna stand okay maybe you can stand and we're gonna do a few sun salutations and that can warm up your um your fascia your body your superficial muscles and your deep muscles because we want to move slow so we're going to move very slow okay since um kind of beginner yoga or maybe you haven't done it for a while so stand in front of your mat your legs are hip width apart okay so you're hip width apart and you're gonna start to come on your toes like a ballerina and you wanna balance. See if you can balance on your toes, okay? So we're coming in front, we're lifting, lifting, then we'll drop the heel, we go back and we lift the toes, okay? So let's just do four times. Come on your toes, stand, lift, balance, strong leg. Feel the back of your body all becoming strong. Then drop the heel, lift the toes up. Good. Three more like that. Inhale, lift. I'm going to just adjust my camera so you can see my head. And go back to your heels again, nice and slow. Two more. Inhale, on your toes, nicely lifting. Very good. Exhale, on your heels, lift. Lift the toes up, heels down. One more. Stand on your toes, lifting the heels, lifting, 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 balancing, and drop the heels and relax your feet. Good. Now spread your toes and feel like already you got solid, strong leg. Arms up, inhale. Lift and push the hip forward. Just push the hip forward. Open the front of your body. Exhale. Hinge from the hip. Bend the knee. Come forward, bend. Take your right leg back as far as you can go. How far can you go? Keep your right arm in front and take your left arm up. Look at your left arm and see if you can feel that nice twist. We're gonna go slow first, just opening the body. One more. Come back to plank, straight arm, straight leg. Drop the knees down. See if you can bring your chin and chest down. Here we go. Slide to Cobra. Come to Down Facing Dog Stretch. Right leg, come in front. Left arm down, right arm up. You got the arms that's up. Breathe, breathe and come forward bend. Drop the head down, relax completely. Inhale, arms up, push the head, push, push, stretch. Exhale, relax. Let's do one more time, this one. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Left leg goes back as far as you can go. Drop your left arm down, lift your right arm up. 
hold here. Come to straight arm plank. Head align with the spine. Strong core. Breathe. Drop the knees. A nice tabletop. Bring chest down. Slide to cobra. Downwind facing dog stretch. Left leg in front, right arm down, left arm up. Both arms and leg in front, forward bend. Inhale, arms up, reach, push the hip, push, push, push. Exhale, arm by your side, relax. Again, inhale, all the way up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, all the way down, forward bend. Right leg back, we're changing it now, right leg back, drop the knee down. Okay, so it's a nice low launch now. We're gonna work on a little bit different to open the hip. And you're coming with the fingertip down and you're looking in front. So you're pushing the hip forward and you're looking up. You can feel the stretch in your hip. Come into plank. Lower, tabletop, and then chest down. Slide to cobra. Come to down, facing dog, stretch. Right leg front, left leg back. Again, it's a nice low lunge. Push the hip forward, push, push, push. Feel that nice pushing the hip. Put your hands down, look in front, look up. Coming into plank. Drop the knees. Drop chin and chest down. Slide to cobra. Down, facing dog, stretch deeply. Left leg in front. Right knee down. Again, push the hip forward. Notice how nicely opens your hip. Put your hands in front, fingertips down, look up. Bring your right leg in front, forward bend, stretch, stretch deeply, then inhale, lift all the way up, push the hip, push, push, and then arm by your side. We're going to do this two more rounds, just to warm up the body and work on the hip and back a little more, okay? Inhale, all the way up, exhale, all the way down. Right leg back as far as you can go. Drop the knee. Fingertip down. Look up. Notice how your hip opens stretch. Come into plank. Straight arm. Drop the knees. Drop two inches down. Slide to cobra. Come to down facing duck. Right leg, front, left knee down. Again, look in front. See if you feel the hip both flat, nicely facing in front and stretching. Fingertip down, you're looking up. Bring your left leg in front, drop the head down. Take your arms over your head, all the way up. Push the head forward, push, push, push. Exhale, relax. We're gonna work on the left side now. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Left leg, far back. Drop the knee. Fingertip in front, look in front. Look up. Come into plank. Come to tabletop. Drop the knees, drop chest and chin down. Slide to cobra. 
Come to downward facing dog stretch. Left leg in front, right knee stay back, low lunge, fingertip down, look up. Right leg in front, head is down. Arms going up, push the hip, push, 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 arching the spine, and arm by your side, relax. The last round we're gonna do, we're gonna do it a little bit with deep breath, okay? So I want you really feel the posture, feel your body and feel the breath. So a little bit deeper into inhalation, a little bit longer into exhalation, just to practice that, okay? So the stand in front, inhale, deeply lift all the way up, push the head. Exhale, slowly forward back. Right leg back, inhale deeply, low lunge. Exhale, hands in your left thigh. Inhale, arms up, half moon. We hold here, three breaths. Breathe. Two more breaths into half moon. One more. Inhale deeply, exhale plank, come all the way to the plank and hold your plank. Inhale deeply, plank. Exhale, drop your knees down, tabletop. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Lift the chest up. Exhale, down facing dog stretch. Right leg in front. Inhale deeply. Exhale, hands on your right thigh. Inhale, arms up deeply. Breathe three breaths, half moon. Two more. One more. Now inhale deeply. Exhale, coming in front. Forward bend. Bring your left leg in front. Drop the head down. Stretch. Stretch the back of the leg. Feel good. Now inhale, lift all the way up. Push the head forward. Exhale, Samastiti. Arm by your side. So we're going to do the last one to the left side, the same thing, taking our time with the breath. Inhale, push the hip. Exhale, forward bend. Left leg goes far, drop the knees. Exhale, hands in your right thigh. Inhale, arms up, half moon, take the arms behind, hold for three. Hold two more breaths. Hold one more. And come slowly, arms down, very slow. And take the legs back into nice tabletop. Inhale deeply. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, lifting for cobra. Exhale, down facing dog stretch. Inhale, left leg in front, right leg back, hands in your thigh, exhale. Inhale, arms up, hold three breaths. Two more. Last inhale. And come all the way in front, forward bend. Right leg in front, head is down, stretch. Inhale, arms up, reach, push the head. Exhale, arm by your side, resting. Take a moment and just stay here relaxing. Feel your, feel your practice, feel your energy. Okay? Feel your heart, feel your mind. Just stay here calm.
and then we come and open in front about three feet our legs just nice comfortable opening we're going to come to trikonasana and in easy trikonasana pivot your right foot center right center in your mat then turn your back leg 45 degrees so the front is center and the back 45 take your arm nice and straight put your right arm on your right thigh take your left arm up and place it on your left ear turn your face face up the ceiling and slowly turn to the right side without looking down looking up and your chest is up your arms is glued on your left ear you can feel the opening in your left side of your body and you're breathing through that opening you're staying aligned with the right shoulder and right leg and breathe three two more breaths strong upper body Two more inhales. And last one. Beautiful. Come back, reset, relax. Drop the arms down. Bring your toes both facing in front. Take your hands behind your back and take your chest up. We're only going to come halfway flat back in front, halfway, feeling the stretch in your back of leg. Inhale, lift all the way up, push the head forward. Nice and soft, exhale, hinge from the hip, flat halfway. Give me three more. So you're balancing the elements, the water element in your body. You're really opening the front of the body and you're feeling the opening the back of your body. Without really pushing or pulling too hard, you want to just let the body move beautifully okay? and you want to feel the energy that is just increasing in your body this is your last one inhale and halfway flat back now we come back to the center ah feel more energetic nicely pivot your left foot center and right back leg 45 degrees Place your left arm on your left thigh and take your right arm up and place on your right ear. Turn your chest, look at the ceiling and just move slowly based on your capacity. Don't go beyond that and feel the stretch. Keep looking up, keep your hip flat and your arm over the head. Looking up, breathe, three, Keep breathing, feeling the stretch even in your organs. Two more. Last one. Come back. Awesome. Relax. Now both toes are facing the corner of your mat. Nicely both corners of your mat. And we're going to come to a nice squat with the knees facing the corner, not in out and the spine is nice and straight now you could be going really halfway today if it's not in your practice if you feel you can sink deeper then you sink deeper with the lifting the arm inhale we rise with the exhale we lower we come to a nice sunflower that's it inhale up exhale down i want you to really enjoy this and feel like almost you're dancing. Feel the energy in your aura and your, around your body. The energy inside you. And you're doing eight more. Keeping the knees out facing the corner. Energizing the body. Keep going. You got five more to go. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. How about three more? Two. Notice how the whole body is working. One last one. Ah, awesome. Sit and squat. 
take your hands and push the knees out more to the corners they tend to come in we want it out and extend the spine so notice my spine i'm not hunching i'm really strong on my spine i'm coming here i'm gonna inhale center exhale to the right inhale center exhale to the left and you're doing four more this is an amazing stretch and um bringing that beautiful flow into the back of your body okay so if you tie on your waistline in your spine or your shoulders you will feel it okay keep going you got two more to do each side inhale center exhale to the side inhale center exhale to the side one more each side your last one this is done slowly rise all the way up straight the leg awesome so kind of warm up those back muscles and feel a little bit of opening so we're gonna come and do twists now the twists lead really need those spine those back muscles open a little bit right foot center back leg 45 the same thing you did before both legs straight we're going to twist, so we're going to extend the right arm to the right leg as far as you can go. Keep your chest, spine straight open. Inhale here. As you exhale, you come to letter T, both arms straight in front. Inhale deeply. You're looking at your big toe. Exhale, left arm outside your right foot. Right arm up into a Revolving Trikonasana. It's a twist and balance. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring your right arm down. Left arm the other side and slowly lift inhale exhale center ah let's change side left foot center right leg 45 arm straight inhale extend to the left leg extend extend feel the stretch then inhale letter t arm straight palm facing down exhale right arm outside your left foot left arm up here we go we got the twist now turn five four three two one awesome bring the arms both down relax then lift the arms all the way up and bring the arms by your side nicely letter t and you can walk or hop to the front of your mat nice and slowly great so let's do a little bit of um, low lunge to open work on the head when you sit on a chair sitting on a chair notice what happened when you sit all day on the chair the hip flexors become shorter right because they're squeezed and there is the expansion in your back the hip the glutes so the hip becomes very weak and the hip flexors become very short this creates problem for your lower back and balance what we want to do we want to reverse that we want to work on opening the hip we want to bring contraction on those back muscles as you push the hip and a little bit opening expansion in your front how are we going to do this all right we're gonna come here and we're gonna take the right leg back and we're gonna work on reversing the expansion contraction so we can work on strong hip okay and strong stabilization so you take one leg back right leg back left leg in front and you are in pyramid you the back leg you are on your toes the front is flat 
hands in your hip. You're gonna come down, double knee lunge, and lift. You're doing six, down, and up. You can go very tiny bit down if you find too hard, or you can go all the way down if you find it easy. So do four more, let's go, and see how that feels for your legs and hip, okay? Three more, okay? Give me two more. And give me one. And now we're gonna come only, we keep the back leg straight, we keep the back leg straight, and we bend only the front knee. Now notice the opening on your right side hip. If you put your hands back, you can see the contraction if your back loose, and you can feel the opening in front. This is opposite of what you do when you sit on a chair. You lift your arms up, and you hold here, you hold this pose. High lunge, breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands in your hip and bring your right leg in front. And you're gonna pause for three breaths to relax. Drop your arms, rest. Now, if you tie it on your hip, you will notice that. Let's just pause, relax completely. One more breath. So let's do the other side. Right leg in front, left leg back. You're on your toes back leg and it's flat foot on front. Both legs are nicely strong and hands in your hip. Again, we're gonna just come do with that nice flow, nice and slow all the way down eight keep going seven six so sometimes you might shake because there's also a balance here and we're working on how we stabilize the hip that's great keep going slow four more three two and one and now we're gonna straight the back leg, straight, straight, light on your toes, bend your front knee 90 degrees, feel it, and take your arms up. Ha, it is high lunge, nicely high lunge here. Hold five breaths. Four. Three. Two. Last one and come back. Slowly walk or hop or just move slightly to the front to relax. Pause for a moment, rest completely. Just take your arms down, relax. Feel your heart. Feel your breath. Feel the energy that is flowing, the beautiful flow in your body. And my bring some feeling good. Put your hands in your hip. Can you do a little bit of balance? You can lift your right leg up. Hold here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. Lift your left leg. Five, navel to spine. Four, three, two, one. Relax, right leg up, whatever up is for you, but don't go back the body. Just stay with the strong body and lift. It could be here today, could be there, could be low. Just lift, keep your hip flat facing in front and spine straight four three two one beautiful drop your right leg lift your left based on your capacity keep your spine nice and straight five 
four, three, two, one, and release. We're gonna stand in our toes. The way we stand in the first, like ballerina, palm facing down, and we're gonna lower halfway, halfway, nice and slow with the spine straight, and then inhale, lift. You stay, you stay on your toes. Three more. Down halfway, and lift up. This is your balance. Two more. Halfway down, and lift. This is your last one. Down, 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 down. And sit and rest. Ah. So we're going to um, work a little bit on the seated and then go into hip. Just a little bit. Right leg up, bend the knee. Arms up in here. And forward bend, exhale. Three, two, one, and inhale, lift the arms and release the leg. Let's do the other one. Bend, flex your right foot, arms up, inhale, and fold, exhale. Two more breath. Last inhale. And come all the way up, stretch the leg. So we're gonna come to a nice tabletop, your reverse tabletop, bend the knee and lift the hip up. Just Resetting, it's a counter pose for all those down and down and everything we did. Just push the hip up, push the hip up, push, 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 push. Two, one, come down. So we're gonna come to down facing dog. Nice, stretch the legs, stretch the arms. Stay here for a few breaths, relaxing. One more inhale, down facing dog, and take your right leg up into the air and stretch. You're standing on one leg, your left leg, and the right leg is up. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, you come into pigeon. You drop your right knee down and you straight the back leg back. What we want, we want the hip to be on the mat. So whatever that takes, even if you open today, but you're feeling the stretch on the back hip, just do that, you know, because pigeon is not easy pose for many people. But then you turn your hip flexor, the left hip flexor close to the right heel, and then you go back and open the hip. And then again, back, bring it close to your heel and go back again, relax. So this is when you're relaxing, inhale. This is when you come forward, exhale. And notice how your right hip behave when you're coming toward the mat, right? So we want to really work on that hip joints and we want to make it nice and maybe stretched a little bit, maybe a little more comfortable in our pigeon. One more into this movement. Then we come all the way in front and we're going to drop the arms down and make a cushion with our hands and stay here resting, okay? We wanna feel the stretch on your right side hip. Breathe, we're gonna be here for five breaths. Last two inhales. And 
we come all the way up with a straight arm. We notice how the right hip is feeling. We take the arms outside the right knee. We look over the right shoulder. And come back center. We slide the right knee all the way back into child pose. We sit on our heels. We take the arms, we place the fingertips down. We look in front of the mat, extend the spine, exhale, drop the head down. Stretch your lower back, stretch your spine, stretch whatever feels tight. This is a great pose to rest and to stretch. Your shin, the top of your toes, everything is stretching, including your spine. So try to relax here for three more long breaths. Awesome, come all the way up, tabletop. And we do one cat and cow, We're coming to cow. Nice, lift the tailbone up and lift the head up. And then cat, nicely rounding the spine. Now we come to down facing dog and stretch the entire body. Take your left leg up, you're standing on the right leg and you're lifting the left leg up. Inhale deeply. Exhale, left leg come in front for pigeon. Nice, easy one. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn to the side, just relax, and then we come forward to bring the right hip flexor to left heel. So again, we open and we turn. So you kind of feel it when you opening, it's kind of relaxing. But when you come in close to the mat, you're feeling that stretch. So three more back and forth, just feeling the hip. Should feel really good, especially if you tighten your hip. Two more, nice and slow. And last one. Now, as we're coming forward, we're making sure the hip is flat and we make a cushion with our hands and we place our right ear in our cushion and we feel the stretch in our left side hip and we rest here. Should feel really good, taking tension from your head and come all the way up. Straight arm, walk your straight arm against your left knee in front and look over your left shoulder, adding a little bit of twist and rotation. And you feel that lengthening the spine, massaging your organs and opening up that hip. Three more inhales. Just feel good, stay here. Two more. Last inhale. Awesome, come back center and just drag that knee all the way to the edge of your mat, both knees wide open into a nice child pose. But this time you come on your toes. We came towards the top of the four feet on the mat. Now we're going to twist and bring the toes. And the reason we do that, we want to work on our ankles, joints, and the arch in our feet. You can feel it. There's a little bit of opening there. And then you walk your hands in front, fingertips down. You look in front and drop the head down. Drop and stretch. Pushing the head back to stretch the head even more. You're stretching the toes and you're feeling the opening in your foot, the arch in your foot.
beautiful come back center drop your right knee on your mat so your right knee is bended and drag your left knee over take your left arm behind take your right arm up place it against your right knee and turn and stretch any way you want to feel that nice stretch in your spine three two one awesome come back center switch leg left leg down right is over right arm back left arm behind your right knee and turn and stretch last one beautiful you did it all come back and we're going to straight the leg coming to our last final pose which is shavasana resting come all the way down nice and slow very slow rest your spine rest your leg rest your shoulders rest your face your tongue your jaw inhaling feeling your breath exhaling feeling more grounded more relaxed and stay here for a few breaths relaxing Continue relaxing, feeling your breath, feeling your stillness, your peace. Feel peaceful, stay present, feel your energy, feel your feel rest. When you're ready, bring your legs and arms by your side. Take your arms over your head. Give yourself a nice stretch. And then turn to your side. And then sit comfortably. Roll the shoulder back. Lengthen your spine. Relax the jaw. Relax your tongue. Relax the eyes. Inhaling through the nostrils, exhaling through the nostrils. Soft breathing. Focusing on your conscious mind, the third eye. Relaxing the mind. Following the rhythm of your heart, the peace and stillness. Feel rest, feel peace, feel calm and grounded.
Bring your hands and pray, place them in your heart center. May you always be close to that peace, the feeling good, feel your own stillness and happiness. Namaste. Namaste.